So you want to start streaming, but you don't have a webcam. What if I told you you already have one? What's going on guys, today here once again, and today is going to be a little bit of a different video. It's something that I've heard about for a while, and I think some people might know and a lot of people might not know. There have been some questions lately asking me, hey, I want to start streaming, but I don't have money for a webcam and I don't know how to get one. So I told them, hey, why don't you just use your cell phone? See, the thing with cell phones is everybody has one, whether it's an iPhone, an Android, Google Pixel. Wait, Google Pixels are Androids. However, when it comes to streaming or making YouTube videos, a lot of people don't think they, they can use their phone to do either live streaming or even record YouTube videos. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to a website called obs.ninja or vdo.ninja is rebranded into video.ninja, but you can still use obs.ninja. What this site is going to allow you to do is it's going to let you use your cell phone as a camera so you can record your YouTube videos or you can stream to YouTube, Twitch or Facebook, whichever one you like. What you need to do is you want to create reusable invite. Now you click on that. We can see here we have two different invites here. Now you want to scan the QR code here with your cell phone to bring up the site on your phone. And then once you've done that, see where it says the OBS browser source link. You want to add that into your OBS software. So I'm going to go over the steps how to do this right now. So you want to bring up your camera. I just did. See? And then you want to go ahead and scan that. Now, scan the QR code. So it says tap here to OBS.ninja. It's not focusing, so you can't really see it. And we're going to tap. It says please select option to join so you want to click on share your camera right here and then we're going to have your camera come up now one you, you can go ahead and start that but you still have a few steps before you do that you see where it says your audio defaults here you want to click on no audio so we're going to go ahead and click on no audio that way it doesn't reverb into your recording and then you want to go ahead and hit start once you hit start as we can see it's using your camera as a feed. We're going to go back into the OBS software. Now, what we need to do in the OBS software is we need to go ahead and add source. You want to add browser source and then hit add source here. So we want to rename that. We're just going to call it cell phone. Add source. Now, see this URL here? You want to delete that. And then again, we want to copy the URL that says OBS browser source link. Make sure it says source link, otherwise this will not work. Then we want to go ahead, paste that in, and set up your resolution. Now, once you set up your resolution and everything, you can go ahead and hit done and check it out. We have a secondary camera for everything that we want to do all right so now we have a side-by-side -side comparison between the two honestly i really don't see a difference between them um the latency on the cell phone is a little bit delayed but other than that if you're not really paying attention you can't really see it so up here we have my base uh, pc webcam which is the razer keo it only goes up to 720p and then down here we have my Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which goes up to 4K, but for video purposes, I'm only using 1080. So as we can see, there's no there's no issues with it. It runs pretty well, it runs decent. I can go ahead and pull this up and it's it's maybe like a millisecond behind. So pretty awesome if you ask me. But um Again, if you're looking to just have something to act as your webcam until you get one, this is the method to go. With that said, I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, feel free to drop a like down below. Also comment if you are looking to do streaming but didn't have a webcam and this helped you out. Or if you're just looking for a way to have a secondary cam. Also, if you want more content like this for tutorials go, let me know and I'll go ahead and make sure I make it. But until then, see you next time. Thank you